Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to A Current Affair. First tonight, in these thirsty times, washing the car would be politically correct without car washers that recycle their water. But it seems that simple practice is putting us at risk. Our special hidden camera tests have found alarming levels of bacteria that can cause serious illness. Now there are calls for the industry to clean up. E. coli. Something that's uh, not to be found in car wash water. It's a sign of fecal contamination. Here we have Pseudomonas aeruginosa. That gets into your eyes and your ears. You're very likely to get a nasty infection. With these sort of bacteria, you know, you can really start, you could really get anything that, that, that comes through. You can get all sorts of um, you know, hospital type infections. In general, the public don't even really know whether they're using recycled or fresh and whether that recycled water is, uh, is dangerous or clean. Because of water restrictions, we're all having to go to a car wash to wash our car. And many car washers are now required to use recycled water. But no one, not even our health authorities, seems to be checking to see how clean that recycled water is. And our hidden camera tests have revealed your local car wash could be making you sick. That level of staph aureus, um, really, you would not expect in, in your car wash, and we found quite high levels in a number of samples. Microbiologist Glenn Pinner says 90% of the car washes we tested showed high levels of bacteria. Everything from E. coli, which can cause serious infection for the elderly and the young, to golden staph, which can be life-threatening. It's been sprayed around, and the real concern is that if there's high numbers of Staphylococcus there, and we've got small cuts on our hands or on our body, or if it gets in our eyes or in our ears, certainly you can get an infection occurring. Using hidden cameras, we filmed the testing process. Samples were gathered in sterile containers, out of the hose in self-wash bays, or by using concealed containers under the bonnet in automatic or hand wash outlets. The samples were put on ice and taken straight to the lab where they were tested that day for six kinds of waterborne bacteria. We found levels up to almost a million times higher levels of bacteria in the recycled water as compared to what we're getting in the drinking water. You can actually smell it. You can actually smell the water sometimes? At this car wash, the manager was unconcerned when I told him our test showed it had levels of fecal coliforms and golden staph eight times higher than would be considered safe in a swimming pool, where people are also breathing in water particles. You're not concerned by this? No. Not concerned? No. But uh, you could be putting the public at risk. Well, I don't think we are. At this hand car wash, it's the staff who are at risk because they do the washing. Here, the level of fecal coliforms was three times higher than acceptable, and there were high traces of pseudomonas that nasty bug that can cause ear and eye infection. But once again, operations manager Clifford Smith isn't worried. I not at all. I've not had any people off crook. I'm not crook myself. I'm down there every day. We do a hundred odd cars. I mean, we're just trying to provide service so people can wash their cars. So the last thing we want is to A, make them sick and to have to, you know, businesses can easily be shut down because of it. David Benner runs his car wash on the Gold Coast. Like every business battling water restrictions, David put in a recycling unit but soon found he couldn't cope with contamination going through it. The exposure to the public's just not worth the risk and we only use it in the, in the auto bay where we can sort of control that a, a bit more. Knowing that the contaminants could be anything from, uh, from oil and grease through to roadkill through to manure, I think they should be quite concerned about uh, what could be breeding in their closed local cycle system. Tony Julian sells recycling systems and admits the built-in purifiers aren't strong enough to cope with all the bacteria that can multiply in the water. And if those are uh, then transmitted by air or uh, in aspiration of the, uh, the water, yeah, there is some danger to, uh, to the general public. At this hand car wash, our test showed fecal coliforms and E. coli that were three times higher than acceptable and golden staff 12 times what you'd expect in a pool. But as workers, is this something you're aware of here, that the possibility that the recycled water could be contaminated? Um, I'm not sure. Not something you guys have thought about? Yeah, it probably has, but can't really say too much. Without enforceable standards, none of these car wash operators can be held responsible if their contaminated water makes anyone sick.
experts say that's not good enough. And the operators need to clean up their act, they need to improve the recycling treatment and get it checked to make sure it's safe for everyone to use. Chris Allen with that investigation and in a statement late today, the Australian Car Wash Association says it's working with workplace health and safety to develop a code of practice for the use of recycled water in car washes. And if you have a story about a car wash or in fact any other story we want to know about it, send us an email or give us a call.